Now I'd just like to cover the pencil tool options in a little more detail. So double clicking. You'll see we've already covered the fidelity slider and the difference between accurate and smooth. The options beneath the first one reads fill new pencil strokes and I've checked that already. I'm going to click OK to demonstrate. Now without a fill selected, you see if I draw a circle, it doesn't give me a fill. The same result would come from unchecking this and drawing a circle like so. There's no fill. If however it is selected and we have a fill color assigned, when we draw a new shape it assigns that fill color. So again if that wasn't checked and even if we had a fill here it assigns no fill. So that's simple enough. So that's the difference between fill and no fill. For the next option we have keep selected and that's already checked so I'll show you what that does. If I draw a line you see that it remains selected. Unchecking keep selected. If we draw a line it's no longer selected after we finish drawing it. So that's a difference there. Going back in, we have option key toggles to smooth tool. Now this basically means it does what it says on the tin. If we click the alt option key, as it is on the Mac anyways, it toggles to the smooth tool. Now the smooth tool actually isn't something I use personally, so it's nothing that I'm going to teach here. The smooth tools used by some people in illustrations, but it's not something I use in logo design. The next one is close paths when ends are within 20 pixels as it's stipulated. I can reduce this. Now what this is, is when I draw shape, I'm going to go for the circle again. You'll see that that circle appears next to my pencil icon. Now this denotes the fact that the computer is going to close the shape. Now according to what number is stipulated here gives the distance where the computer will give me that option to close the shape. So if I select one, draw that circle again, you'll see that that option to close the shape isn't appearing where it previously did. It's at a much closer point. Now because I'm working on a retina screen, it's harder to acquire, but I have it there. And that's one pixel. So I've had to bring that end point very close to the starting point. The default, I believe, is 20. And 20 is the best position to keep it at. So the next in the options is edit selected paths. Now this is checked. Now I'm going to show you how that works. With this line selected and the pencil tool selected, you'll see that when I hover over this point, the stroke appears next to the pencil icon. Now this means I can continue drawing a line from here. If however in the options this was deselected, edit selected paths, and click OK. Now when this line is selected, we can no longer continue from this line. You'll see if we zoom in, there's a gap there between. And we're not given that stroke when we hover over with a pencil tool. So that's a difference there. And that covers those options for the all new pencil tool. And they are something you can use for personal preference. Again, I'll show you what mine are. I have these, keep selected and sometimes I have fill new pencil strokes selected. Other times I'll just make a shape and then select the color, the fill from the swatches. In logo design in particular, it's often beneficial to have fill new pencil strokes unchecked so that you can see your sketch beneath.